Well, hey everyone, it's Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com, and what I want to do today is show you another little trick here, a little tip that you can use to add a cool effect, like in this one here, we're adding some rays of sun, uh, or the sky, or the heavens above, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but you can see here, we have some directional light coming down, and I wanted to uh, share this one technique. There's other techniques I've used in the past. This is a kind of a new one I just learned, and I wanted to share it with you. So uh, if I turn these off, you can see there's different strengths. Uh, that one there's a little bit lighter than that one there. That's just by doubling it up. But let's go ahead and create this. Let me delete these, and we'll start from scratch. So the first thing you want to do is obviously you want a picture that's going to lend uh, lend a hand to the sun rays. So this one here, we have a hot spot up in here, so we can actually add a directional or even up in here. Uh, but you want something that's going to be realistic as well. So let's just use this one uh, thing here with using this, the rays of sun, okay, that we would think that would be coming up from this corner. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to want to create a new layer, and it's going to be a, a fill layer, a gradient fill layer. Okay, and then from there, we're going to name it Rays. Let's just name it. And the mode that we're going to use is the soft light. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and click OK. All right, now you can see what just happened. It kind of put a haze over top of it. All right, uh, now what we want to do is we want to make this, uh, where it says style linear, linear, we want it to be angle. And it's going to look a little weird, uh, but that's what we want right now. The other thing is, let me just point out this down here. We want our foreground and our background to be uh, black or uh, black on the bottom and white in the front. So foreground is white and the background is black. All right. And so that's pretty important here. All right. So now that we have that done, okay, we can go ahead. While this is open, we can move this up to here. That's what we're going to do. And then from there, what we're going to do also is we're going to click on this. And now this is our gradient presets. All right. So what we want to do with this is we want to go here where it says gradient type. We want to click noise. All right. And then you can see all of the rays are starting to come through. But the thing is, they don't look uh, good because they're all different colors. So what we're going to do is go to color model and it's going to say RGB. We're going to go to S or uh, HSB right there. And then from there, we're going to also take this slider, which is a saturation slider, and bring it all the way down to kind of desaturate it. And right away, you can see we already have these rays of sun or light coming through, which looks pretty good. But the other cool thing is we can do here is we can take this where it says randomize, and we can click this, and it'll give us a whole bunch of different looks. And you can just keep playing around with it until you get one that you kind of like. Now, again, once you do that, doesn't mean that you're done and you have to stick with it 100%. You can change that, and I'll show you how in a minute. But let's just go with one that we think looks pretty good. Again, you're just going to keep clicking until you see something that you like. And let me see. And again, we can play with this. And you just keep clicking until you, it's, like, again, it's randomized, so there's no set way. That looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and click OK on that. Okay, and then from here, we're going to go ahead and click OK. And now you can see what's happened here is it's created its own layer, okay, or its own um, mask over top of it. Now, if I double click on this, I can come back in here, click on this again, and then I can go start hitting the randomize uh, here so we can keep moving that around. But here's the other thing that I want to do. Seeing that it's kind of spread uh, wide and maybe even up in here, uh, what I'm going to do is I want to turn that, okay? But if I go here, you can notice that I can't really do anything with it. I can't erase anything. If I go in here to try to erase it, watch, it just gives me the old, you know, like almost like a cancel sign. Like you can't do it. There's, you're not going to, that's not an option. So what we want to do here is we want to go on that layer, click on that layer, and we want to go to layer. And what we want to do is create a smart object, convert to smart object. Now we can go ahead and we can erase this if we want to after we create a layer mask. So right now you can see we still can't do that, although I can rotate it if I wanted to now, which that's one thing that I did want to do. So let's, let's just rotate that a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I like that better and bring that up in there. And then what you're going to notice is you might see some lines and stuff that are going to not look good. So we're going to, we're going to want to erase them. But the way that you're going to erase them is not just going in here to the eraser, is you're going to want to go down towards the bottom and you're going to want to go to uh, layer mask. And just click on that. And now what we can do is we can go ahead and, and start to erase them and blend them. Let me just go back. All right. And all I did was just went to the eraser and the opacity I have at 100 percent. My brush is uh, let's see here. That's pretty much should be soft. Yeah, soft, soft all the way down from the hardness. And then from there, I can adjust my brush size if I want to. 
I'm using the bracket keys and I'm just lightly touching that so it can still come through and I may even want to come in here and bring some of that back but then you can see all of those rays coming through now if I wanted to come in here again double click on this it's going to say that I want to make sure that I'm it says after uh, editing the contents choose file basically because we're on a smart layer now okay and just say okay and now you can see there it is again right there is uh, the, the rays of, of light that we were talking about okay and we can go ahead and we can we can change them we can uh, add them if i double click on this now you can see we're back in here so i can click on my gradient and then i can come in here and randomize this if i want to um, now i'm a little reluctant to do so because if i do it's going to change it and i kind of like this so i'm going to keep it but if i did want to i could just click this randomize and it would just start randomizing it again and then from there just click off of that now what's going to happen is you can see there's two tabs up here now this is my original document this is the rays tab this is just this one right here i'm going to want to click off of that to basically say that i'm done editing it it's going to say do you want to save this you say yes save and then there it is okay and turn it off and turn it on now here's the other cool thing now that that's on its own layer i can duplicate that and make it even stronger. But now you see how it's kind of going over her face? Well, let's turn this one off. Let's go back on this one and let's erase her face um, on top of that. I gotta go on here. This is the layer mask. And then I'm just gonna just erase over top of that so it doesn't touch her face. If I bring this one back on top, I'm gonna wanna do the same thing. Layer mask over here. And then you can see that. And the other thing is, last thing I'm going to share with you is let's just turn this one off. Let's just say we want it subtle like that. You can, if you wanted to, you can blur this just like a regular layer. Just go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. Oh, that's, that's not what I wanted. Gaussian blur, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And you can see here if I want to bring up that strength, it almost makes it disappear. I don't want to do that. But if you, if you thought it was too harsh, you can do that as well. Um, and then it brings up down here, you, you've added a filter to that. So that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. So that's a pretty cool little technique. Wanted to share it with you, how to add a rays of light. Actually, you can see this little line up here. See that little line? Let's get rid of that line. I believe it's on this one right here. So let's go there and uh, make sure that we're on this particular one. And there we go. And let me just erase that. And then same thing up here. I'm going to click on that layer mask and make sure that I'm on it and then just get rid of that. That's all. But you can see very, very uh, easy to use. And these here again are layer masks that I added to this particular effect. And that is it. That's going to wrap up this short little lesson. If you want to learn more about using uh, effects like this or using digital backgrounds and props, you're going to want to head over to newportraitbiz.com forward slash club. Or if you just want to go over and check out our blog, you can go to newportraitbiz.com and it'll take you to all of our resources and all of our lessons. So once again, I'm Scott with newportraitbiz.com and I'll talk to you later.